Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Our Games and Tech. My name is Gilbert Matos and today I'm going to be covering acceleration and deceleration in character movement. For this project, you just need to have a player object, which is the thing that I have right here. I have a camera object as well so that we can see uh, the room much better. Then after that, we're gonna have to create two more scripts and that's gonna be pretty much it. So we're gonna go into scripts and we're gonna go ahead and create a new group and inside it, we're gonna call that group uh, smooth movement scripts, right? With an S at the end, whoa. And we're gonna create two new scripts, so Gonna create that one and we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna rename the first one to be player is pressing keys right and the second one we're gonna call entity acceleration so entity acceleration and player is pressing keys so from here we're gonna get either true or false so we just want to check if left and right being pressed which should give you a zero, or there's no keys being pressed. In this case, we're gonna we're gonna do. So we're gonna close this, and then we're gonna go into our entity acceleration script, and here we're gonna we're gonna do the following. So our entity acceleration script is gonna take three arguments. The first one is gonna be the acceleration, the second one the deceleration, and the third one is gonna be the def the user defined maximum h speed after that we're going to have four temporary variables three of which we already covered and the first one is going to be the key pressed now key press is going to return either one or negative one and we're going to use that to multiply it by the user max h speed and that's going to determine whether the player needs to move right or left so that's going to increase or decrease the horizontal speed of the player and we're using our player is pressing keys to determine whether there is a key being pressed or not. And if there is, then you know we increment. And if there's not, we basically go back to zero. So here we, just, we can exit this and we're gonna go back into the end step event. All right, once in the end step event, we're gonna declare four temporary variables. The first one is gonna be the ground acceleration. And the second one is gonna be G deceleration. And the third one is gonna be air acceleration and the fourth one is gonna be air deceleration. Now for these values, you can choose whatever you want. In my case, I've chosen these numbers. Up next, what we need to do is call the script entity acceleration. And here is where you're gonna have the different parameters. You're gonna have G acceleration and G deceleration. And then after that, you're gonna call the maximum H speed. Now, for when you're not on the ground, when you're in the air, this is where things are gonna change. Since we're going to use uh, the air acceleration and air deceleration, we also can go with the route of having the, the horizontal speed be half of that when you're not on the ground, right? On the ground, it's going to be much higher, and in the air, it's going to be much lower. And uh, we, we're going to run the game and see it in action. Now, we move. We can jump. If we're at 20 and we jump, it's gonna go it's gonna go back down slowly gradually you see that look at that movement see it's half the speed while you're in, in the air and you know it gradually comes down in case that you have overshoot if, like if you overshoot it that's what happens and that's how you have you know smooth movement you have acceleration and deceleration for your character if we press both keys the character comes to a stop very very slowly as you can see very slowly and very smoothly as well same thing happens in the air if you let go on the ground boom you come to a stop fairly quickly same thing in the air in the air if you let's say that you know you're going at, at max speed and you let go come to a stop and all of that and that's how you add acceleration and deceleration in this case friction to your character I hope you find this useful. 
And if you learned something new, let me know in down. Let me know in the comments below. Whatever questions you might have, please make sure to uh, ask them in the in the, in the comments section. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching. If you find my videos useful and you would like to support, please head over to my Patreon page. I would truly appreciate it.